OK。Your martial arts is karate, right?Even if your main discipline is karate, I mean striking oriented martial arts.If you want to take your karate as the mean of self defense, you need to know and train some form of grappling oriented martial arts.For the sake of your karate, to be effective in self defense situation. It is really, really common for you to find yourself to get grabbed, pulled, pushed, squashed, and so on. Especially the attacker is bigger and stronger than you. And most of the time, they are. That's why they attack you. As these things happen, if you don't know what to do or how to handle the attacker from there, you are done. I mean, the martial arts, you have devoted and invested yourself so much becomes invalidated by just being grabbed by some nobody guy who is just happened to have bigger muscles than yours. If it happens, very often you lose the motivation for karate you love so much. So, even if you are a superb karateka, you need to train some grappling as well to protect your karate motivation just in case. I recommend small wrestling. Judo, jujus, and wrestling are also great, but they are complicated and very technical. I doubt you have enough time to learn those things since you also have to spend a good amount of hours regularly for karate training. On the other hand, small wrestling is much simpler than judo, judges, and wrestling. Basically, all you have to do is to push your opponent out of a circle ring or put to the any part of his body other than the sole of his feet down to the ground. That's it. Small wrestling is very simple and straightforward. That's the one for you. But, I mean, please note that pure small wrestling is seriously tough though. Especially the initial crush called Tachi Ami. It's a killer. You have to crush into your opponent with a head first, with full force. And your opponent do the same at the same time you do it. That's too dangerous. Watch some YouTube videos of professional small wrestling. You will know what I mean. Those pure small wrestling is definitely too much for you. So, here, what I actually recommend you is a modified version of small wrestling, like I'm doing here with my friend Well. Use your forearms for the tachiai, the initial crush, instead of the head. And refrain from using these key throws. In this way, you can train much, much safer. Yet, you can build strong legs and back to stay balanced, even if you are grabbed pushed or pulled, which is vital for a combat. And it's also very fun. So, thank you very much.